Okay, welcome to another Dining with Diana. So today I'm going to show you how to make broccoli chicken and rice. And it's so quick and it's absolutely delicious. So, I've done a little bit of preparation. I steamed my chicken and I use this really, really nice double boiler or steamer. You just put your chicken in, steam it until it's done and set it aside. You can do that earlier so that it's cold by the time you're trying to shred it so you don't burn your hands. Um, I was just going to show you exactly how I shred it without, you can use your hands or you can use two forks. So just work with the grain and just pull it apart like this. It goes really, really quickly. You see how the grain goes sort of across there? Just pull it like that. Quite chunky pieces. Don't make them too small. Now this was about one and a half pounds of chicken. So this was three chicken breasts, but you know chicken breasts can be large or small. These are um, were pretty small, so I used three of them, and it was one and a half pounds. So you just shred all that till you have it all nicely shredded. And then you take your casserole dish, about, this isn't very big, because there's only two of us, so you can always um, get more, take more chicken or um, get a bigger casserole dish. But there's only two of us, so I use this nice little one. Put all of your chicken inside your casserole dish, like so, at the bottom. And then get your broccoli. Now, what I did with this, this you can actually steam inside the microwave. And it's a pound of broccoli. But if you don't have these ones that are steamable, then just do your chicken first and then put your broccoli on top of your steamer and steam it afterwards. And all you do is, so this was about five minutes in the microwave. All you do is put that on top. There we go. If you want to, you can cut them a little smaller, but I like them nice and big and chunky like this. There we go, so that's our chicken and our broccoli. And next we are going to make the mix that we're gonna mix and pour over the top. So get a bowl. This is about a good size bowl. Um, I tried another Pyrex bowl before and it was a little small. So this is probably just the perfect size. So take a cream of mushroom, tin of cream of mushroom and, and this is um, 26 ounces the family size 26 ounces and it's condensed so it's pretty thick you'll see when I pour it that it's pretty thick so you've got to take your wooden spoon get all that mushroom soup out till it's empty <laughs> and um, now we're going to add a couple of other ingredients so we go with our mayonnaise i use the organic mayonnaise from trader joe's you can use anything and we are going to put in three tablespoons of mayo approximately three tablespoons sometimes a little more three tablespoons of mayonnaise and then we're going to do a teaspoon of curry powder now i get mine from south africa but you can get curry powder anywhere so this is, if you're in South Africa, the cartwright is really nice. And this is medium strength, not hot. And um, you put in two, uh, one teaspoon. So this is a half a teaspoon. So, oops, that's a half. And there we go with one. Then we put in a teaspoon of lemon juice. Now you can use the bottle lemon juice, but I actually squeeze some fresh lemon juice in here. So that's a teaspoon of lemon juice. Last but not least, we put in our, this is half and half. So um, you can buy half and half in America or you can make your own. So I made my own. I did half a cup of milk and half a cup of heavy cream. And you mix that together and pour it in. Come and have a look inside the bowl and see how yummy this looks. There we go. Now you just, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna use this mixer because, oh, mixer's a little better. See, even this bowl might be a little small. <laughs> Mix it all nicely together. 
There we go. Mm. Looks delicious. Oh, it smells so nice with the lemon. Okay, there we go with the sauce. Now, all we do is we pour the sauce over the chicken and the broccoli like that. Yummy! This is going to give you such a delicious meal this evening. You just get every last bit out with your wooden spoon. There we go. And then I just like to open it up a little bit like this so that the sauce gets right down to the chicken and the chicken isn't dry at the bottom. So just kind of open it up, let the sauce get right down to the bottom. And honestly, that is it. So there we go. We just get that all ready. And then this goes into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 180 degrees Celsius. 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. And when it comes out, I will show you exactly what to do. But when it comes out, you will sprinkle a little bit of cheese over the top and a little bit of um, breadcrumbs, but I'll get to that in a moment. So let's put this in the oven. In it goes. And set the timer on 30. And in the meantime, or earlier today, I actually made some rice because you would actually serve it with rice. So I made some rice in my rice cooker. And look how nice and fluffy that looks. Woo! So nice and fluffy. And um, if you want to, the recipe on exactly how to make rice, go look at my chicken a la king recipe because I explain exactly how much water, how much um, rice and how much water that I put into here. So that is the rice and I will see you in a moment. Welcome back. So it's been cooking now for 30 minutes and you hear the beeping? <laughs> so I'm going to take it out. Ooh, it smells delicious. Oh. There we go, so that's that. Now we are going to add, let's switch that off and we put the broil on. I'm putting the broil on or the grill, as you say in South Africa. And now I'm gonna add, sprinkle some grated cheese over the top. Grated cheese and breadcrumbs. So just take a whole bunch of cheese, sprinkle over the top. About two handfuls, about. Oh, that looks delicious. And then some bread. These are panko breadcrumbs. You can make your own breadcrumbs if you want to, but I just buy these. And you just sprinkle some breadcrumbs over the top. This gives it that nice crunchy taste at the top of your... There we go. Now we're going to put it in and we're going to grill the top or broil the top, however you say it. It's going to go in and you have to watch it. Put your oven light on and watch it because last time I burnt it. <laughs> so watch it until it gets nice and bubbly and brown and I will show you some pictures afterwards or I'll show you the end product. <laughs> 